Hello there, welcome to my another video. In this video, I will be showing how you can set up the ZAMP on your Mac and run your fast code on the local server. So let's get started. So first search ZAMP on the Google or any of your browser. Go to the fast link. On there, you'll find download option. Click on there. Scroll down, you'll find different option for your Windows Linux. So we are going to install the latest version of the ZAMP. So I will just click on download and the download will be started. It will take a few times. After downloading the file, just open this one, double click on there. Click open anyway, it is showing because you have downloaded this one uh, from the browser. You need to enter your Mac password on there and the install installation process will start shortly. Click next, again click next. So it will open a link to the browser, just uh, skip this one. Click next and the installation will be started. It will take a, a few minutes. So now click uh, finish. Again, it will uh, open a link on the browser, not this one. So here is your uh, ZAMP uh, server. You can uh, control it from there. If you go to the manage server, you will find MySQL database and Apache web server. You can uh, start uh, the MySQL database and Apache web server from there. So now if we search on the browser localhost, you can see a page is opened. That means our server is installed successfully. Now go to the application folder you will find a folder called stdocs and all of the files will be on this stdocs file uh, stdocs folder let's drag this uh, folder to the left side for our project now i will open the browser and create our first file click open folder and open this particular folder stdocs folder So inside the stdocs folder, uh, we'll uh, create the our new file. Click uh, this icon, and uh, I will give the name sn.php, and we'll run or we'll write our fast code on our local server. So let's echo this. Our server is running. Now, if I save this one and open the browser and type localhost slash sn.php, that the file name, you can see the right uh, the text is showing on there. Let's zoom it. So later on, if you come back and again, if you want to start the PHP server, you can go to the application folder and on there you will find this. Uh, icon and just uh, from there you can control uh, the mysql server or apache server and on thank you for watching the video and let me know what kind of video you want next